Since we've talk, been talking about doxology in this week's bonus clip, um, we're sharing an old and beautiful one with you. It wasn't one we mentioned in the episode, uh, wasn't one of the main four, but it was found on a papyrus that dated back to the 4th century, that's the 300s AD. Um, and that's pretty much all we know about it because I didn't have time to do any more research. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little on the longer side, but it's a really nice one. Okay, I will read it. He is the light... Therefore is he the son of our souls. He is the life. Therefore we live in him. He is holiness. Therefore is he the slayer of sin. He is salvation. Therefore it is he who has purchased the whole world with his blood. He is the resurrection. Therefore it is he who has set free those who are in the tomb and has made them new a second time by his blood. He is the way, therefore he is the guide to his father. He is the door, therefore he is the guide into paradise. He is the shepherd, therefore he is the seeker after the sheep which is lost. He is the lamb, therefore he is the cleanser of the world from its impurity. This is my God. I will ascribe glory to him, for to him belong glory and power for all ages and ages. Amen. Amen. That's an interesting, like, kind of reflection on who God is. Just kind of, mm. he's this, therefore. He is this, therefore. Mm. That's a good way to, to think about things. And I love the last line, this is my God. I will, I ascribe, will ascribe glory, glory to him. him. Yeah beautiful very beautiful i hope you enjoyed that clip from the hymn partial podcast before you click away hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you're notified of future posts on this channel more details like how to support us or how to sign up for our free weekly newsletter can be found at hymnpartial.com.